what is up people Matt here so literally yesterday I was it yesterday yeah yesterday so literally yesterday I finally watched well I watched the final episode of Attack on Titan season one and I've literally just marathon I literally marathoned Attack on Titan I watched you know at least two or three episodes each day until I finished it and it's an amazing anime um, I can't wait for the second season, even though I already know what happens, which is kind of what this video is about. So when I get proper into like a series, I tend to like I, I like to know about literally everything that goes on, every little minute detail that happens. I like to know about. So with Attack on Titan, after I finished watching the anime, um, I was intrigued about what happens to all the characters. Now, a normal person would just be like, okay, that was cool, I'll wait for the second season. But what I proceeded to do was go on Attack on Titan Wiki, um, and pretty much read up on everything that's happened up to date. So, if you, if you don't want Attack on Titan spoilers right up to date, get away now or get run from this video because I'm going to be talking about the stuff and how it's kind of you just you kind of know it was going to happen you know about some of this stuff but then you're like oh my god so I've given you enough time so at the end of the first season of Attack on Titan we know that there is more than one Titan shifter as they're called there's Eren and then there's Annie. Now, Annie was obviously the female Titan, and Eren's called the, I think it's the Rogue Titan, is it? Now, that's how it ends, pretty much. Annie crystallizes herself after she gets beaten by Eren to stop them kind of interrogating her and finding out the Titan secrets. And right at the end, after it's all ended, the credits have rolled, it does a close-up of uh, Walsina, and a bit of the wall crumbles, and there's a fucking Titan face in it. A wall Titan. Now, people would be going, what the fuck was that all about? So, from what I can gather, the walls are all made from Titans, so they've literally built walls over fucking Titans. Now... I know that the royal family in uh, the Attack on Titans are fucking Titans themselves. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they're called the Coordination or Coordinate, something like that. And they're all fucking dead pretty much because uh, Eren's father, Grisha, f fucking killed them all because he's also a Titan shifter apparently. So everyone's a fucking Titan shifter. It's the latest rage. Um... Even though he's dead, so I don't really, I don't quite understand how all that worked, but um, whatever. So let's rewind a bit. So right at the beginning of the series in Attack on Titan, like literally the first shit that goes down, a colossal Titan appears, fucking destroys the first war. I think it's Rose. Shit goes down. Everyone fucking dies. Eren's mum gets devoured by um, it's called the Smiling Titan. That's a, that was like the fucking scariest Titan ever, especially when Hans looked at it for the first time and it, the screen went red. That fucking scary shit. Um, but so as well as the Colossal Titan appearing, fucking Armor Titan appeared and fucked shit up as well, and it was all bad shit. Now. We knew we know that Annie was a Titan shifter, female Titan. Again, Aaron was the rogue Titan. But we actually find out the identities of the Colossal Titan and the Armored Titan. Um Armored Titan is Ryan Reiner and the Colossal Titan is Bert Hold. Two other uh, 104th cadet squad cadets, you know, Aaron's friends. 
and we also find out that there are in fact just like this Ymir uh, the dancing titan she's also in the squad they're all fucking titan shifters literally well it's, it even said out of the out of the five top members of the 104th cadet squad four of the fucking members well all yeah four of the five members of fucking titan shifters the only one that isn't is Mikasa um and I don't I haven't like gone through and read it all meticulously I just know all this sort I've just kind of you know picked out the bits that are like oh, what the fuck presumably they're all part of a like they're all they're all from the same fucking clan outside the wall uh, the titan group I think the titan group that people decided naming them is called the warriors which were basically put in the fucking wall to kind of destroy them from and within sort of thing like I don't quite understand it all, but it turns out that Krista Lenz, her name is uh, the, the really small girl with blonde hair. She's also a part of the squad. Apparently, she's like one of the royal family. And from like the most recent thing, I think she's actually like become the queen now because everyone else is fucking dead from the royal family. So that's kind of good. But. It's kind of like, oh, I really didn't want them to be fucking Titan shifters because you just know they're going to end up getting killed like in the series now because they're fucking bad. As soon as they get... If a person's good, but they've always been bad, one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to get killed because they're evil or they're going to become good again and try and redeem themselves and get killed that way. And that's fucking shit because... Out of all the cadets, literally my favourites are Reiner, Erin's alright, I like Annie, um, I like Potato Girl, but she's not a Titan shifter, she's probably going to get fucking killed. Any I, I think, my estimate is all the cadets are going to get killed except for maybe Erin. That's what my that's what I think is going to happen. Either Erin will survive and he'll be the only one, or Mikasa will survive and she'll be the only one. Or Armin will survive and he'll be the only one. One of those three, I don't think two of them will survive. Only one one of them three will survive, but it's just a matter of who. Um, Attack on Titan isn't one of those predictable things, so with Aaron being the main protagonist, I have a feeling he's fucked because I don't think they're going to do the typical main protagonist survives. I think Aaron will actually eventually be killed off permanently. Um... Which could then, Mikasa could then go fucking crazy and she'll get killed in an arm and it'll be the last one alive. Um, and he's kind of the more passive of the group, even though he's like physically the weakest out of them. Now, there's other cadets that you've got to take into consideration. You've got John, you've got uh, Connie, uh, you know, all the rest of them. Are they going to kind of get pushed to the side or are they just going to be used as fodder later on? I have a horrible feeling they're all going to be killed like one by one and it's going to be really emotional and depressing that's how I feel it's going to go but I've been rambling on a bit so my point is after watching the anime my intrigue ended up making me go online and literally spoiling it all for me I literally now know what's going to happen in season 2 before it's even out because of the manga and this happens with literally all of them the manga ends up kind of going ahead and the anime like stops or isn't as fast, it doesn't keep in, it doesn't, it's not, they're not the same. Um, it's the same with Bleach. I know everything that happens in the fucking like thousand year war arc and we haven't even got the anime version of that. We don't even know if we're going to get an anime version of that. But I know what happens. So it's just interesting how the manga can actually be spoilers to the anime even though the anime hasn't even got to that bit yet. It's weird to think of it like that. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.